Hey loves, we're jumping right into this video with me getting ready to shampoo my hair. I am using the Nature's Little Secret Cucumber Shampoo. I've already pre-pooed off camera, so I'm going to start using the shampoo right now. This cucumber shampoo is very moisturizing. I am going to do two lathers on either side of my head. So I take my first lather and I really just work it into the length of my hair. I haven't washed my hair in about two and a half weeks. It's pretty dirty there, so it's gonna take a while for me to get the type of suds and lather that I would like from this shampoo. In general, the first lather is just to get most of the product and build up and grease and oil off of my hair then that second lather i clean up anything else that's remaining and that's when i get the most suds so i always do two lathers just to make sure that everything is clean and as you can see i do shampoo the length of my hair to make sure that i get all the product off then i go in with my fingers or a shampoo brush usually and i will just massage my scalp and really get in there to make sure that i am getting my hair and scalp extremely clean i am able to lightly finger detangle with this shampoo because it is so moisturizing so if you are looking for something that has a lot of moisture and will not dry out your hair but still clean your hair and your scalp this particular shampoo is a winner My hair looks like after rinsing out the cucumber nourishing shampoo again really like that shampoo it is like extremely moisturizing but it gets my hair and scalp really clean and just to show you guys that's what my scalp looks like I checked several areas of my scalp like this just to make sure I didn't see anything in there um, you know just went through now also did this little test which is like just lightly scratching my scalp and then looking under my fingernails to make sure that i didn't have any um build up or dirt or debris just make sure that everything was off of my scalp um that's something that i have tended to do for a while another creator that i know that does this here on youtube is um shanice crystal she does this naturally nisi i think she used to be called but there are several ways to just check and make sure that your hair is your hair and your scalp are clean you definitely want to do that before you start deep conditioning um i do not believe that you should deep condition on hair that's dirty the deep conditioner is supposed to try to adhere to your strands and penetrate your strands and provide some temporary bonding and temporary um repair and it can't do that if your hair has gunk buildup and other products on it. So I am using the Nature's Little Secret Coconut Milk Strengthening Deep Conditioner. So I know that the title says that this is a moisturizing routine. This is a protein um, deep conditioner, but it is made with coconut milk. It also is moisturizing for me. It's not as strengthening. An important thing to note with this, the reason why it's containing these gentle proteins, coconut oil actually does not have protein, but coconut milk is the part or derivative of coconut that actually contains protein. So this is made with coconut milk. It does have light proteins. It has hydrolyzed silk protein and hydrolyzed quinoa protein pretty far down on the ingredient list, which is perfect. It is a strengthening treatment, but the reason why I like the fact that it's lower down on the list is because this is a treatment that will not be too strengthening. So this is perfect to use in between major protein treatments. And another reason why I'm including it in what is actually considered my moisturizing routine, because this is a 
protein containing conditioner that's actually moisturizing and balancing to my hair. And because I have high porosity hair, I tend to use my deep conditioners that have proteins much more often than I use a straight non-protein containing deep conditioner. So just to kind of show you, I love the consistency of this. It is just super creamy. I have used this before in a bigger jar. This is the first time I'm using the smaller one. And ah, it smells so good. It smells like coconut ice cream. <laughs> and I don't know if you've had coconut ice cream, but that's what it smells like. It's going onto my hair and immediately I'm feeling bits of slip. This is another reason I don't consider this a straight protein treatment, but rather a good balancing treatment for me because of the slip that this provides. So I'm gonna try not to be too heavy handed with this. This feels so good on my hair that I tend to use, I tend to use a little too much because it just, it feels so good, but the slip is insane. I forgot how much slip this coconut milk deep conditioner has. Nature's little secret knocked it out of the park with this one, even though it is a protein containing deep conditioner. I'm adding it as part of my moisture routine because it does a great job of balancing out the moisture and giving me that little boost of protein that I need. I had to remind myself not to use up the entire jar. That's how much slip is in here and I'm just showing how my curls are already starting to become rehydrated and really pop. Again, I did use a moisturizing shampoo and then I'm going in with this deep conditioner which is pretty moisturizing and it has the perfect amount of protein to just help my curls bounce back and pop you've been following me for a while so you should know that i love to deep condition my edges and the entire length of my hair and i'm just going to use heat while i deep condition for about 30 minutes if you have high porosity hair i suggest test out and see what your hair likes my hair does prefer when i deep condition that i use a product that has light protein in it on a consistent basis and then maybe like every six weeks i'll do a strong protein treatment but um, my hair does prefer using protein a light protein in every deep conditioning session unless you know i kind of just also listen to my hair if my hair is getting a little too dry then i back off and i use something that's just completely moisturizing with no protein at all all right loves i am back I have deep conditioned for 40 minutes. Normally I do 30 to 45 minutes. I did 40 minutes this time with heat and I have not rinsed out the deep conditioner yet, but I am already loving how amazing my hair is feeling. Ooh, yes, my hair feels really, really good. So, all right, I'm just going to take I had my hair in these twists. I'm going to take them down so that I can rinse out the deep conditioner. I don't wash my hair in twists, nor do I rinse my hair in twists. For some reason, when my hair is in twists and I try to wash or rinse my hair while it's twisted, I get a lot more tangles and matting that way. My hair prefers to be rinsed out when it is loose. So that's what I'm about to do, but this is what it looks like. And to give you guys an example, this is why I say I have very fine strands, because look at how fine these individual strands are right here. But I have high density here because I have a lot of these fine strands packed together. All right, so let me rinse all this out and then we will go to styling. I always start my styling process by using my spray bottle with water. My high porosity hair dries very quickly, so I like to make sure that my hair is nice and wet. It captures my curl pattern better, and my products are able to spread through my hair easier. I also detangle with my wide tooth comb going from the ends to the top, just to make sure that my twists will be nice and smooth. Another thing I'm showing in this video that I don't always show in my other videos is I like to make sure that I get clean parts when I have clean parts, I get less breakage at my roots. When I don't have clean parts, my hair is very fine, so it snaps very 
easily if it gets entangled in another part of here when I start twisting. So I do like to make sure that my parts are nice and clean before I start sectioning off for individual twists. For maximum moisture, I do use creams or custards as opposed to gels if I want maximum hold or a medium hold. So on wet hair, I'm applying the Nature's Little Secret Avocado Hair Cream and then I'm going in with the Irish Moss Styling Cream to give me a little bit of hold. Then I'm installing my two strand twist, I'm braiding my roots and then twisting the rest. I have several videos on how I do this and I'm just going to do this throughout my entire head and the twists are coming out very plump, hydrated and juicy. You'll also notice that I do not use styling clips. The teeth in the styling separating clips, those tend to snag my fine strands. My strands get really caught up in that and then it tends to break so I just use bantu knots to section off my hair. I like to use a Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush or a detangling brush of some sort to evenly distribute the products throughout my hair and help my curls to clump up and I'll know that my hair is super moisturized when I see that clumping. These are what the twists look like, very hydrated, moisturized, and juicy. This is what everything looks like. And I am going to put my hair up. I'm gonna let my hair air dry, then I'm just gonna pull it back in a ponytail like this. Once it has dried, I do expect that I'll get more shrinkage and that's fine. That's normal with my hair. As a recap, I used Nature's Little Secret, the Cucumber Nourishing Shampoo first. This shampoo is very cleansing, but it does not strip at all. This is one of the most moisturizing shampoos that I own, so I highly recommend it if you do need a cleanse but you really don't like that stripped feeling, this is good for you. I personally do not care whether my hair feels stripped or not by shampoo because I'll always put it back in with conditioner, but if you do care about that, this is extremely moisturizing and it does leave your hair and scalp very clean. So, and it is sulfate free, obviously, sulfate and silicone free. After that, I followed up with the deep conditioner. This is the coconut milk strengthening deep conditioner. As I said before earlier, this is a very light protein treatment for me. I have high porosity here, so I do like to use protein in my deep conditioners, even if they are like medium, you know, mid, excuse me, to low on the list. This is one where it has quinoa and it has hydrolyzed silk protein. Yep, quinoa and hydrolyzed um, silk protein. It's lower down on the ingredient list, but this leaves my hair feeling amazing every single time. This does not leave my hair hard. This does help my curls to bounce back. So it's a very good, like light protein treatment. If you're looking for that, I really highly suggest this. It smells like coconut ice cream or coconut cake. Um, it also just really deeply nourishes my hair. Then I followed up with the Avocado Moisture Cream. So a note about this one, this is an avocado oil, avocado butter based type of cream. So it is heavy, even though I have fine strands, I like more weight to my curls so that they can clump better and so that my hair traps moisture in better. So I do apply this on soaking wet hair and then I followed up with the Irish Moth Styling Cream. But for those of you that have fine, or thinner hair like myself, this probably is not the product that you want to use. Like I said before, I like to use it because it's an excellent moisturizer. It gives me enough weight, but there is a banana leave-in in this line that might be a little bit better for finer textures. I find that this would be um, good if you have thicker, coarser type of hair. I personally like to use it because I like for my hair to have weight to control my frizz. Lastly, I used the Irish Moss Styling Cream. This is definitely one of my favorites from Nature's Little Secret. You can use this for a wash and go, in my opinion, because of the way it defines and also because of the way it clumps your hair, your curls and your coils. It's very good for clumping. I don't really do wash and goes, so I can't really tell you um, how this does for me for a wash and go. As you can see, this is what it does for my twist. And I also get a slight cast with this. The cast is already forming on my hair as we speak, like my hair is getting a little, a little crunchy, which I need, I'm going to travel, so I do want for my hair to have a cast and this will provide a very nice light cast that's very easy to scrunch out with my hands or with a little bit of oil. So with all that being said, I did not use oil on my hair 
um, because I already used this, which is the Avocado Moisture Cream. Um, and this is butter and oil based already. So I didn't feel the need to add more oil to my hair. Um, I just wanted to kind of show my moisture routine, even though I did use a deep conditioner that had light protein in it. This is what I would do for my moisturizing routine. So I thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to comment down below and hit the like button. Definitely helps my channel so much. Thank you to all of you that are already subscribed. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You can find Nature's Little Secret, the link in my description box, as well as my code Tiffany15. If you want to try these products for yourself, I've been using them, like I said in the video before, for over two years. So I highly recommend them to you guys, no matter your hair type or porosity. And yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.